Hello students, welcome to Edgescope. In this video, we will learn about nutrition. Nutrition in living things is mainly of two types. One, autotrophic nutrition and two, heterotrophic nutrition. Auto means self, tropic means feeding. So, the nutrition in which the organisms prepare their own food is called autotrophic nutrition. Example, green plants and some bacteria. The second one is heterotropic nutrition. The nutrition in which organisms depend on other organisms for their food is called heterotropic nutrition. Example, animals and certain plants like cascuta. Now let us see nutrition in plants in detail. Plants prepare their own food using simple inorganic materials like water, carbon dioxide and sunlight. This process is called as Photosynthesis. Plants absorb the water by their roots and they get the carbon dioxide by the stomata present on the underside of the leaf and they harvest the sunlight by the surface of their leaves. Now let us see the equation of photosynthesis. 6 CO2 plus 12 H2O gives rise to C6 H12O6 that is glucose plus 6 O2 plus 6 H2O. From this equation, we can understand that carbon dioxide and water reacts in presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll and finally produces glucose and oxygen. Now let us know about the location and mechanism of photosynthesis. We all know that leaf is the site of photosynthesis. But exactly where does it take place inside the leaf? Let us look at the cross section of the leaf. These are the parenchyma cells of a leaf. They have many green colored plastids called as chloroplast. Chloroplasts are also present in large number in the gourd cells of stomata. Chloroplast is the exact place where the photosynthesis takes place. Now let us look at the mechanism of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a very complex process. But here we are simplifying it to three steps. Step number 1. Chlorophyll molecules present in the chloroplast absorbs the sunlight and gets activated. Step 2. The light activated chlorophyll splits the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen. This process is called photolysis. Now step 3. The hydrogen ions produced in step 2 helps in the reduction of carbon dioxide into glucose. That means the carbon dioxide is converted to glucose. The glucose that is produced in the photosynthesis is converted to starch and stored in the plant tissues. We have seen how plants make carbohydrates like glucose. But how do plants make proteins? Plants make proteins with the help of nitrogen. We know that nitrogen is present in the air. This atmospheric nitrogen gets converted to soil nitrites by some special bacteria called as nitrogen fixing bacteria. Then these soil nitrates and nitrites are absorbed by the plants by their roots. By using these nitrites and nitrates, plants make proteins. This is all about nutrition in plants. Check the description for the full chapter video link of life processes. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to Great Booster channel. Press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Check the description to find links of other useful videos. Check the end screens for our new videos.